This video is about the dash and all the electronics features on the 899 Panigale. I'll show you how to access them, how to use them, how to change them and all sorts of nerdy stuff. So if electronics aren't your bag this pro video probably isn't for you. And if I'm honest 90 to 95 percent of the stuff isn't really for me either but it's just nice to know that it's there and well plenty of people that will appeal to you so whatever let's have a look. Now in the last video I talked about security and how there's a sensor in the top part of the key here, the ignition key and how it tells the bike that it's the correct key and it shuts off the immobiliser. Now what I forgot to mention was if that key is damaged or it no longer works for whatever reason, how do you access your bike if you've locked it and you're out in the middle of nowhere? Well, there's a pin code that you can enter on your machine, it's a number, like your ATM bank card when you get money out and that will disable the immobiliser and get you out of the pickle. So let's have a look at the dash, we'll just start it up, put it into on, we won't start it up but we'll turn it on. See there, it lights up like a Christmas tree. Now we'll get into the settings. Now we we'll look over here at the left handlebar, we've got a toggle switch up here, a little selector button there, and another one down below here. And that's the one we want to get into the settings menu. So, put that down, I hold it for a few seconds and we'll see it change. There we go, we're in the settings menu. And you see, that's the pin code number there, that'll get you out of the pickle if your key sensor stops working. Got the clock. And we've got a lap time setting here, which is a pretty neat feature for all the track day people. Uh, lets you record and store 30 laps. So your speed, your time, that sort of business. We'll just look into it. Data. And we can see I haven't been to a track day yet. I haven't even broken in the motorcycle. So there's nothing, you know, in there yet. But um, that's what it looks like. So we just get out of that. Get out of that. Get out of that. And we're back to the dash here. So we can see... I should have set it... There we go. So... That's the current time there in the bottom left corner. 4.55. It's getting late. And in the middle here we have the temperature reading. It's on low because the motorcycle's not turned on, obviously. That will still read low until there's like 40 degrees, then you'll get an accurate reading. If it's on low, obviously you don't ride off on it because it's not warmed up yet and you could be doing drama to your engine. So looking at the left box here, that's my total uh, odometer reading, 1300 k's at this point. Trip, you can store two trips, so that's trip A, distance, trip B's distance, the time spent on the trip, and back to the clock. Now if we look in the right box here, the bottom right corner, that's my fuel consumption, average fuel consumption so far when I've been riding it, 5.3 litres per 100 k's. Scroll down through that, that's my average speed, 48 k's. Current temperature, it's a cool day here, 19 degrees. And that's my consumption. If I was riding along, that would give me a reading of what I'm currently using. Now that sounds a little bit over the top, like who really cares about that? But you don't get a fuel gauge on this bike. You don't get a, like a Honda has. So you've got to weigh in some of these things to know how much you've got left in the tank. So you've got your average there and that sort of thing. Now, when you're down to your last five litres, a little fuel pump symbol will pop up there to say that you've got five litres to go as an extra warning. But outside of that, you've got no fuel gauge. So you need to do some mathematical calculations so you don't get stuck in the middle of nowhere. Now, the riding modes. So we can see over that neutral symbol, that's obviously the gear I'm in. And that'll read, you know, one to six, whatever you're in. The ABS light stays on for a while when the motorcycle's turned on because it'll go out once the system's warmed up and ready. Fuel light's on because it's, again, the engine's not turned on. That will go off when the engine's turned on. Now we're in sport mode because you can see sport lit up in the middle there. In sport mode, because that's the mode I've been riding in, we can see I've got one EBC, five DTC, two ABS. Now, EBC is 
electronic braking control that's your engine braking it's all monitored by a computer on this bike and you've got three levels for that level one meaning it's working pretty strongly you can feel it if I roll off the throttle I can feel it just pull the bike up pretty well to the point where a lot of times I won't even use the brakes level two it'll step in a little bit and level three is recommended as a track day setting uh, for like professionals and you know people that don't people that would rather use their brakes and you can turn it off altogether and you'll get quite a bit of engine braking and and it would just have dashes in that little box there it wouldn't have a number now DTC is Ducati traction control you've got eight levels of that and um, eight being the level that you would use when it's raining so it'll really it won't let the bike slip out whatsoever and one is like a track day setting you'll, you'll be able to you know oh you can actually turn it off and then you'll allow if you're 16 years old and you want to do burnouts in front of your high school then you can use that level ABS we've got three levels for that the third level for ABS is absolutely no lock up and no drama whatsoever so that's a recommended rain setting and one it's going to be very it'll still intervene but not a whole lot and um, yeah and you can you can turn it off as well uh, one is like the race setting so it'll only be the front brake your back brake it won't have any ABS when you've got it in one so we'll just go through a couple of them so we'll just uh, we're using <coughs> this button here to get a different mode so we'll go into wet mode and um, I'll just hold that grey button in for a little bit boom select wet mode and we can see the settings here have changed so we've got EBC 1 now and traction control is way up there in 8 that's its maximum setting ABS is maximum setting as well uh, basically EBC that's that's pretty much its maximum setting uh, without actually turning it off and that'll keep you safe in the rain it will also cut down your overall horsepower it doesn't actually say it in the manual but I've heard people say it's a hundred or less than a hundred horsepower but it will these revs up here the really nitty-gritty stuff you won't get there in wet mode it'll stop you from that and it'll, the power delivery will be super super subtle it'll be just like driving a 250cc it'll just be a complete baby's toy it's fantastic now <clears throat> another one let's go to race mode all right and we can see there's very little electronics intervention here we've got one EBC two traction control so that'll let the bike step out a little bit on you you'll look like Mark Marquez a little bit and ABS is one so that's only the front brakes that have got ABS then so it's very little intervention and um, yeah and again you can go in here and change these settings so this is just the default setting for race mode if you like to race with your full 148 horsepower but you want more engine braking you can turn that off completely or if you like a lot of it you know change that setting traction control maybe you don't want to have the rear end sliding out and you can change that number to a higher number remember you've got eight for that so you can have it to five six and you can play around with these settings in all these different modes so this is just what Ducati is suggesting to you when you're in them and um, yeah so you can play around with all of that and uh, that's basically the dash package when you've over revved it these two bits up here will light red you'll get one bar first then two will say come on buddy pick another gear and um, yes yeah, so that's a little warning system there also this DQRS above the three boxes here that's your quick shifter now you must have that on the dash as it is now if you if you are to use not use the clutch and uh, be going through the gears if you don't have that on the dash and you're forgetting about the clutch and you're just banging in the gears you're doing damage to your gearbox now that's only for upshifting not downshifting downshifting you still need to use your clutch upshifting forget about your clutch you can just rip through the six speed and uh, so that's that feature there so that's pretty much all of it and uh, 
That's Ducati's electronics package for the 899.